wherever and for as long as freedom flourishes on the earth, the men and women who possess it will thank them and will say that they did not die in vain. That is our true and everlasting memorial. With these words, on the 17th of October 1953, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II unveiled the memorial here at Runnymede. Over 24,000 people witnessed the event, including the families and comrades of those commemorated. This was one of the young Queen's first official engagements. You can see the text of her dedicatory address displayed near the entrance. The architect of the memorial was Sir Edward Mouth, who had himself served in the First World War. Its layout is simple, a shrine set within a cloister in which the names of all the dead are recorded. As in all the commission structures, traditional, durable materials have been used here. White Portland stone, slate and bronze for the doors and gates. The emphasis throughout is on simplicity and restraint, with plainly carved inscriptions and motifs on the walls, creating a monumental and dignified effect. Common remembrance of the dead of the Great War is the one thing, at times the only thing, that never fails to draw our peoples together. <laughs> 